Fabric-backed vinyl contract wall coverings from Murospec offer a new way to protect and decorate walls in commercial and public buildings. They have high resistance to impact and abrasion, so they can be used in high traffic areas. They're washable and offer a wider variety of decorative effects than other wall finishes. They're easier to hang than normal wallpaper because they're stronger and easier to handle. They don't tear during hanging, and because of their strength, they can be smoothed down with a plastic spatula rather than a brush or ruler, so there is no creasing. They're quick and easy to apply. Because contract wall coverings are 1 meter 30 centimeters wide, they cover large surfaces quickly, giving a seamless, uniform finish. It's also quick because they're applied in one process. There's no need for painting or any other process once the wall covering is on the wall. There are no fibers which can cause skin irritation. It's a clean process with no drying time. Once it's on the wall, the room can be used immediately. This video produced by Murospec, Europe's leading supplier of contract wall coverings, shows how to hang them and produce a good result every time. Before proceeding with the installation of the specified or chosen wall coverings, it's worth spending a few moments to prepare yourself for the task ahead and ensure that you have all the right equipment to help you achieve the easy application of the wall coverings to give a long-term, problem-free quality finish. As you can see, the first piece of equipment required is a wide-width pace table, which allows you to cut your lengths of wall covering and carry out any other procedures required for the installation of wide-width vinyls, such as damping the back of paper-backed products. Alternatively, use a sheet of material wide enough to support the product. The toolkit required will include a large synthetic pile roller, sleeve and brush, for the application of the adhesive, a 45 centimeter steel spatula, which has a variety of uses, a hard plastic spatula for smoothing out the wall coverings, a sponge for cleaning down any adhesive residues, a measuring tape, a pair of good quality decorating shears for cutting drops, etc. A pencil for marking out the walls and wall coverings. A joint cutter for making the joints with a fabric backed vinyl. A good quality snap blade knife for trimming the wall coverings. A plumb bob to ensure that the drops are hung straight. A tough, durable plastic bucket, always an asset for this task. And overlap pins to help you line up drops at 5 cm overlap. With every order of Murospec wall coverings, you will find attached to your delivery, on the outside of your packages in a plastic sleeve, a comprehensive set of Murospec hanging instructions. These will give guidance on various issues such as site conditions, which are covered in the checklist on the front page. Running through this document, we make reference to not mixing batches on the same wall and checking that the wall coverings are as ordered. We then move on to site conditions. In the hanging instructions, we advise that the site is heated to a minimum of 12 degrees centigrade. Below this, the adhesive may not dry fully. It's important that sites are well lit, with lighting similar to that in which the wall coverings will be viewed when the premises are occupied. Lighting conditions can greatly influence the preparation and how well the product is installed. Surface preparation. This is a comprehensive guide as to how we would approach a variety of surfaces in terms of filling, priming, and any other surface preparation which is required to achieve a successful installation of our wall coverings. All surfaces should be clean, smooth, in sound condition, and free from dirt and grease. Before hanging, we advise that they're washed down with a mild detergent, then rinsed off to remove any residues. If there is mold growth detected within the substrate, we advise that this is treated with a good quality fungicidal wash, 
used in strict accordance with the pack instructions. Failure to treat any mold growth could result in a discoloration or even delamination of the wall coverings at a later stage. Any holes or cracks or surface defects should be filled flush to the surface using a good quality filler in strict accordance with the pack instructions. Once filling has been completed, the walls are rubbed down using an abrasive paper to create a smooth surface. In addition to rubbing down the filler, should there be overpainting onto the substrate from areas such as architrave, skirtings and window frames, we would advise that these areas are also rubbed down using an abrasive paper to provide a key for the wall covering adhesive. When surface colour is not uniform, due to filling or different paint finishes on the wall causing a strong colour contrast, we would advise, for absorbent surfaces, that a coat of good quality matte emulsion be applied to these areas to equalise the colour of the surface, as on occasions the strong contrasting colour may show through certain wall coverings. Then apply a coat of Murabond primer, diluted according to the hanging instructions. The choice of the appropriate adhesive is of paramount importance to achieving a good, strong, permanent bond of the specified wall coverings. The Murabond adhesive range covers six separate products. Murabond primer, green lid, forms a very important part of the surface preparation. This primer coat serves many purposes, equalizing the absorbency of the surface but most importantly, to aid the adhesion of the chosen wall covering. Murabond Light Adhesive, Black Lid, for the application of paper-backed vinyl wall coverings onto absorbent surfaces. Murabond Standard Adhesive, Red Lid, for the application of paper-backed textiles onto absorbent surfaces. Murabond Heavy Adhesive, Blue Lid, for the application of fabric-backed vinyls onto absorbent surfaces other than plasterboard. Murabond Easy Strip Adhesive, Orange Lid, for the application of fabric-backed vinyls onto absorbent plasterboard. This adhesive allows wall coverings to be removed when future decoration occurs without causing damage to the card paper face of the plasterboards. Murabon Sealed Surface Adhesive, Yellow Lid, for hanging wide width wall coverings onto non-absorbent surfaces such as oil-based paint, plasterboard sealers or laminates. It's important that the hanging instructions supplied with your order are read thoroughly to ensure you identify the surface and most importantly use the appropriate adhesive for the chosen wall covering and the surfaces on site. Failure to use the correct adhesive system may cause the delamination of the wall coverings at a later stage. Our Murabond adhesives are all a pre-mixed formulation. And therefore, all that's required before use is a good stir to break the adhesive up and to make it more fluid. We would always advise that the adhesive is used full strength and never diluted, as diluting the adhesive can weaken its bond strength. Load the roller with adhesive and starting from the ground or skirting level, roll the adhesive onto the wall to give an even coating. It's more time effective to start at the bottom and work upwards, as when you've finished rolling the adhesive onto the walls at ceiling height, the steps are already in place and ready for the application of the first drop of wall covering. When applying the adhesive at ceiling and skirting levels and internal angles, it's wise for best results to use a paintbrush to get into those intricate corners. Use of a paintbrush is also advised to cut into previously decorated skirtings and ceilings. For information on other products, technical workshops and samples, please call Murospec on...